Hey guys, this is Bharadwaj with Phone Arena and this is the Samsung Galaxy Grand Quattro. So we are going to do a quick camera review of this phone so that you can judge the quality of the samples that we show you here. So let's jump straight into it. Uh, this is the camera app which is pretty standard for all TouchWiz enabled Samsung phones and if you closely look at the UI it is indeed very similar to what you see on other devices. So on the left you have quick toggles for useful functions. You can change to the front facing camera, you can toggle the flash. This is the shooting modes. Uh, shooting modes are a lot and uh, you can uh, have uh, you have a lot of choices to choose between them. Continuous takes a buzz, panorama takes a panorama pick and uh, share shots and smile shots, other gimmicks not really useful but they are there. You have choices and these are the four simplistic uh, FX that uh, come inbuilt with the camera UI and uh, you can always edit the shortcuts when needed and add it with other uh, customizable shortcuts which is really nice uh, of Samsung to do that and yes it is part of every other camera UI that you see on Samsung devices. So yes uh, going into the settings you have a lot of options for uh, stills camera. Uh, shooting modes as you saw earlier, FX as you, as you saw earlier, scene modes, a lot of scene modes here. Uh, you can configure them to show up here instead of shooting modes uh, using the edit shortcuts. Uh, a lot of shooting modes here which is quite nice. And of course you have all the normal options like ISO metering guidelines. So save as flipped is an option that uh, comes with the front facing camera. The front facing camera is really noisy and uh, takes really poor pictures but it is usable for video calls and can uh, record VGA video. So yeah that's good. Uh, that's about it uh, uh, for the stills uh, settings. So yes coming to video, video modes are uh, only two so normal and limit for SMS and the uh, rest of the things uh, as you expect. You can record VGA video from the front facing camera too. So going into the settings for video, you see that uh, self recording is the front facing camera, recording mode as you saw earlier, FX are the same as the stills and as you see the resolution is 720 by 480 which is widescreen but it is 480p not 720p. For a phone at 16,000 rupees, this is a bit disappointing because a lot of phones even with 5 megapixel cameras can record 720p video. Uh, and this is a bit disappointing but uh, uh, yeah the video quality is pretty decent and we will show you the samples soon. Uh, so yes uh, on the right side as you can see the video button has changed in the video mode and in the stills um, this toggle which is you know used to change the to, to the stills mode changes the button to that and of course the gallery here. Let's take a look at the camera samples now daylight samples so this is a macro shot it takes really decent pictures in broad daylight as you can see here the color reproduction is pretty good and uh, definitely much better than uh, other competing cameras uh, so yes the daylight performance is really good so here are more samples for your viewing pleasure And as we said earlier, the phone records videos in 480p, so that's 720 by 480 resolution. Take a look at the video sample here. So as you can see the video quality is also pretty decent and the audio quality is good despite the lack of a secondary microphone for stereo recording. So yes uh, the stills and the video quality are pretty decent and just for a quick demo in real let's uh, take pictures of live objects here. So as you can see two angry birds. This is a macro shot obviously and is indoors so let's take a look at the quality. So as you can see 
pretty nice detailing and uh, the noise even the noise is pretty much controlled which is quite nice but the colors are a bit dull uh, unlike other phones we have seen so that might be a problem but uh, otherwise it is pretty good so yes that's it for the camera review of the Samsung Galaxy Grand Quattro the images and the video as you saw in the samples are quite nice but at this price we think it should have a higher resolution camera and uh, should have been able to record at least 720p video the Grand in comparison Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos can record 1080p video and takes really good 8 megapixel stills so yes that's the camera review of the Samsung Galaxy Grand Quattro. Do hit the like button if you like this video and do subscribe to our channel for more videos like these. Thanks for watching.